Welcome to Community Corner on 94.5 Praise, a program where we discuss the topics affecting the low country, but also programs and organizations making positive changes in our community. Today, we are pleased to have a person who is now reappearing on Community Corner. Uh, when you were here last April, uh, you promised that you would come back and you have now been true to his word, and yes. that is in the person of Mr. Earl Campbell, who is um, our school board representative. He has also spent um, 20 years in the United States Army, has served on the school board uh, 25 plus years, and is now uh, back to greet us. He, in, in his church, he's an active member and uh, served on the food bank committee. Uh, so he is just a busy person, and we welcome back to C Community Corner, Mr. Earl Campbell. Uh, thank you, Reverend Moore. Appreciate it. It is, uh, it is so good to have you back again and uh, to uh, discuss some matters uh, that um, uh, is before the board and mm -hmm. some things that you all have done uh, uh, on the school board. One is approving uh, the new gymnasium uh, at the Whale Branch Early College High School and uh, the um, Performing Arts Center that is going to be built there. And you did that in two stages. Could you uh, tell us why? Uh, yes, um, we did that in two stages because um, we're going to be using 8% funds instead of a referendum. Um, and um, we, in fact, this past weekend, Saturday, we, uh, we voted to hire the architect for, for both of those projects. And it will be, both of them be built together. So uh, it will, should, should start sometime, um, I would say, before the winter of this year, 2017. That, that would be uh, wonderful. Uh, most people might not know that, um, you know, uh, every high school in uh, Buford County, with the exception of the Whale Branch mm -hmm. Early College High School, every one of those schools have two gyms and a performing arts center. And so when they built the Whale Branch Early College High School, because it took 10 years to actually go into the building process, then there were not enough funds to build uh, two gyms and a performing arts center. So they built the school uh, without those two uh, amenities uh, with the promise that it was going to be done later on, only to come to the point uh, to where it was time to build and there were stiff opposition uh, if you will. Uh, right, there, there were, and, and but not only that, uh, they were not going to build it until t 2020, and that's when I sent the, the superintendent an email and said I could not support that, and I said I could go with two years, you know, and so he wrote me back and, and agreed on that, and that we brought it to the board. Which is good, and, and that points again to the importance of having someone to represent our community who really will look out for and 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 push those issues that uh, are pertinent to our community. And uh, I have said this publicly uh, for years. I uh, admire and thank you for the support that you have given to our community and standing mm -hmm. up and pushing those issues that need to be pushed mm -hmm. and getting those things accomplished for the Whale Branch cluster and as well as the Battery Creek right. cluster. Uh, you have done exceptionally well, mm -hmm. and I, for one, who uh, uh, really, really do appreciate well, what I, you are doing. I appreciate that, but um, you have to understand also that I get a lot of support from the community. And on this project, not only from the Sheldon Township community, but we got support from people from Hilton Head and also Bluffton. Uh, so, and I want to thank them for for the, for supporting us and coming out to the meetings. So, which, which it really is important. I I think uh, the the process went as fast as it did mm -hmm. and as well as it did because there was 
uh, a wide range right. of support. Right. And and I think that's what we have to start mm-hmm. doing on any issue. Right. Any issue of injustice, mm-hmm. uh, whether it is on St. Helena's mm-hmm. or whether it is on Hilton Head or Bluffton mm-hmm. or in uh, Seabrook and Sheldon. Right. Wrong is wrong. Yes, it is. And so <laughs> if we are people of righteousness, we ought to be standing up for mm-hmm. what's right, right. Uh, regardless mm-hmm. to who it applied to. That's true. And, and true. so. That was demonstrated. Oh yes, it was. It was. Uh, it was. I was really surprised because of the, the turnout and the comments that were made in support of it you know, from people that I thought that didn't care. You know, it, it, it was. Uh, it it really was uh, um, heartwarming mm-hmm. uh, to see uh, people from Hilton Head right. and or Bluffton mm-hmm. and over on the island mm-hmm. to come and and. Uh, it was both uh, Caucasians, blacks. Right. It, it did not mm-hmm. make any difference. People stood mm-hmm. up and spoke for what was right, mm-hmm. and that really um, it gives you hope. Yes, it does. That, yep. that somehow, some way, and at some point, we will stop looking at uh, race mm-hmm. and look at the issue of what right. is right and and what mm-hmm. is wrong. That's true. That is definitely true. Uh, doing that process, though, I think it showed quite a divide uh, on the school board uh, of some people just not being willing to do what is right, right. and will disrupt the process uh, and the mm-hmm. procedure of good governance of holding meetings with um, good accord. Uh, what do you say to well, that? I, I, th- I think it comes from, we have a couple of board members that, that does not get along with the superintendent, and uh, they are trying to, do, to make sure that everything he brings before the board did a feat. And I'm not afraid to say that, um, because uh, they are not there for children. They are there for their own personal reason, um, and you know, I've, I've watched the, the viciousness and, and, and the hatefulness in, this, in this, this, this year, the first part of this year. You know, stuff that I haven't seen in years since I've been on the board. You know, we have had some problems in the past, but not to this, this magnitude. You know, you, you, you know, I, uh, I've, I've sat and watched the, the school board meetings in the process. And and I think there is a viciousness is. in the in the the um, the attacks mm-hmm. and and just disrupting the orderly mm-hmm. process right. of meetings. It is different than than I've seen, mm-hmm. and, and I agree with you. Right. Um, there has been in the past problems, but mm-hmm. but this is so overt and out in the opening. I don't know whether the national, you know, uh, political scene brought all of this on to where people start to believe that it's all right to be nasty Mm -hmm. and hateful uh, to people and just and speak things that are not true. (laughs) Well, I think I I think it it comes from this last election. I I truly believe that. And because some of the, the things that people come to the board and say and comments that they made in emails that they send to different folks. Um, you know, it's nothing but pure hate, you know? And and basically, what they want is to get rid of the superintendent, you know? You know, and, and, and they're not gonna stop. They're gonna keep on going, you know? Um, but um, I just hope that the majority of the community doesn't feel that way, and I don't believe that they feel that way. No, I I, uh, I became convinced that hearing their arguments, and it was mainly, uh, you know, two two people, mm-hmm. but but hearing their arguments, I cannot conceive the idea that we are still in such a hateful, mm-hmm. vindictive mode in our communities as what they. Uh, mm-hmm. Projected doing that process, right. 
and, and at times, you know, uh, there is uh, an attempt to uh, smooth over it, mm-hmm. but it it just keep coming up. So, do you actually think that the animosity is so great against the superintendent that they would disrupt those things that are good for children? They they will not go along with. No, I, I, I truly believe that. They are not going to change, you know, because, I mean, like I've said before at board meetings, you know, the superintendent did something that he shouldn't have done. You know, I don't, I don't agree with that. But he did that. It's in the past. We cannot go back and change it. You know, but why come to the meeting, every meeting, and bring it up, same thing? You know, we had uh, the gentleman from um, Advance, uh, Ed came down a couple of weeks ago. And one thing he said, he says, you need to focus on the future, not the past. You know, and um, I don't know. I guess they, they think they, they have a, 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 a platform and they are going to use it, you know. So, you know, I don't, I don't let that bother me anymore. I, I just and I, t- I tell my fellow board member, look. Come to the meeting, do what you got to do, and don't let those folks upset you. So, so what would you? Uh, what do you think the solution is? Uh, what should be done? Uh, how do you deal with it? Well, you listen to them, you know, and, and and let them know. I hear what you're saying, you know, but we have to move on, you know, because like I always say, my uncle, when I first got on the school board and when I became chair. He called me that, that night and said to me, boy, he said, I want you to do something for me. He promised me. He said, you use the criticism for your strength. Well, I didn't understand what he was talking about. And so I went over to Hilton Head to visit him, and we were out there walking around in the past. And I said, okay, Alec, I said, what do, you, what do you mean by that? He said, what I mean, you don't get into arguments. You listen to them and tell them, okay, I hear what you say, and I can change whatever I can change, I will change. He said, but, I, but move on, and that's it. He said, when you leave the boardroom, you, you leave it there. You don't take it home with you. you know. Okay, Elliot, is he still living? No, he passed away. Well, he was a wise man. Yeah, he, he was. He indeed, was. he was a he wise was. man. He was. I, I think that is advice that could be given to uh, senators and House yeah. of Representatives and presidents and oh, vice presidents. That's right. Uh, and it'll do us all well. It is, you know, because I was talking to Mr. Rivers a couple of days ago. In fact, I first saw him this morning. He was on his way to Columbia, and he was saying how the, 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 the attitude up there is we in charge, you know, so we're going to do whatever we need to do, you know, and that is the wrong thing to do. Because you're in charge, that don't mean that you, you know. Um, because you're in charge, it, 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 it places even a greater responsibility right. on you mm-hmm. to make sure that things are done correctly right, right. Uh, is the way we should be looking at yes, it. Sir. And I yes. think that is one of the problems that exist, I think, in society is, mm-hmm. is people look at positions uh, and authority mm-hmm. as being this um, uh, power that mm-hmm. they have to do whatever they want. Right. And, and I say to people that that is absolutely the wrong way to look at it. It is, it is. And, and you know, especially dealing with, with education, dealing with children, um, you know, you cannot keep going back to the same thing over and over and over again. You know, just to, just to, to, to get, get some, uh, I would say, praise from the media, you know. Um, because like I said, I will not throw the superintendent and his staff under the bus to make myself look good. I would not do that. It, it, is, a, it, it is poor leadership, mm-hmm. um, to, to, to say the least, mm-hmm. uh, to, to do things like that. Mm-hmm. Because what happens is, is the issues actually suffer if that is mm-hmm. the, the, the intent. And if, if that mm-hmm. overrides, if our differences mm-hmm. override our logic mm-hmm. and our actions, then children suffer they, they do. as a result they do. and, and the, the example of that was to see how uh, those two uh, members mm-hmm. fought against mm-hmm. what they knew to be right I, I just don't believe that you can have 
any kind of understanding of fairness and then make an argument mm -hmm. that every other child in Beaufort County has the right to attend the high school mm -hmm. with two gyms and one performing mm -hmm. arts center and then vote <laughs> and say, but these group of children don't have that right. Yeah, they don't care. And it being based upon mm -hmm. their disagreement mm -hmm. with the superintendent. There you go. There you go. I had a, a, a young uh, ninth grader mm -hmm. who actually uh, came to the board right. and spoke. Mm -hmm. uh, and he uh, told me mm -hmm. that after the vote was held mm -hmm. in Bluffton, mm -hmm. He he had offered to, and he tried to do it during the the, the board meeting. Right. He tried mm -hmm. to go and shake everybody's mm -hmm. hand, but but that was improper. Mm -hmm. And so, but he was learning great attitude. Mm -hmm. But he went to shake mm -hmm. uh, the hands of every board member. Right. He said that one of the board members told him after they had voted mm -hmm. against the Performing Arts Center, mm -hmm. that they really were not against the Performing Arts Center, but the reason they voted against mm -hmm. it is because there was animosity between them and Dr. Moss, and therefore they were not going to vote for the Performing Arts Center. I was absolutely <laughs> amazed that a school board member would mm -hmm. tell a ninth grader mm -hmm. That 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 shows that this is how they don't have no respect, you know, and it is it, 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 that was a lesson for that young man. That it, was a definite lesson for him. It was. You know? it, it was, and, and and he talked about it, mm -hmm. and he said, you know, why would they do that? And the only answer mm -hmm. I could give him is, is because what is right mm -hmm. does not mean a lot to them. That's right. It is getting back mm -hmm. i right. guess at the superintendent i guess but you know and i i tell my board members all the time i said listen i says you may have a disagreement with the superintendent i said but d doing anything you do whether you vote for it or vote against you're not hurting him <laughs> not at all you're hurting students you're so right you know so you know i just i just hope that that the majority of the board members do what is right. And I, I think they will, you know. Um, we have a new board member, Mrs. Uh, Cynthia Gray uh, Smalls. She came on um, and she's, I think she's gonna make, be a big, a, a big asset for the board, you know. We, we, we certainly hope so. Mm -hmm. and, and while we are uh, engaged in the conversation, mm -hmm. Um, what I want to do is, is publicly mm -hmm. think those uh, reasonable right thinking mm -hmm. members who actually does try to do right. the right thing mm -hmm. because I am convinced that the majority oh, of yeah. them really do mm -hmm. have the welfare mm -hmm. of children at heart they do and and uh, we should as a community mm -hmm. be supporting and acknowledging the mm -hmm. good that they do right uh, the mm -hmm. other thing I want to do is is um, to acknowledge and thank you for being a uh, reasoning uh, force in mm -hmm. that matter mm -hmm. and providing the wisdom mm -hmm. that you provide on that school right. board. Well, I'm gonna, you know, I, I'm not there to, to, to gain any fame. I'm there because I, I care about children. I care about education. And, and, and a lot of folks, they, they come here and they don't know the history of this, this area, you know. And, and I tell them all the time, you know, I say I went to school on Hilton Head, you know, and then I came and went to Shanklin. Um, and the community and, and parents push education. And that is something not happening today because we have so many young parents, you know. And uh, I think we, we have to start getting involved in the community, in our churches, and, and you are doing an a, a outstanding job. You know, and, and, and that's what we need to do to change the, the, the attitude toward education. Because if you don't have an education, you, you, you can't go anywhere, you know.
you you are so right. Do you think that one of the problems uh, that we have is is that many people who come here and do not understand the history of mm -hmm. this place, uh, they simply want to import whatever their experiences were before they got here. They want a carbon copy of what they left where they were and therefore create a problem, do you think? I, I think so because I've heard some of the comments that, that folks say when they come to the meeting. Well, I was uh, this at, at, in, in up north or out west somewhere. Well, you can, you can bring some good ideas, but it does, doesn't mean that your ideas are always correct for this area, you know. And, and like I tell uh, the staff members in, in the district, I said, listen, when we get new teachers, make sure they go to Penn Center, learn the history, make sure they go out to the community and meet the parents of, of the children that they're teaching, you know, because it's, this is not, this is a whole different area than, than the rest of the United States. I, I, I could not agree with you more. And, and I think one of, the, one of the things that we must always seek to um, do is, is to actually bring the educators to the community right. and so they can have an understanding mm -hmm. of the children that they are going to educate. That's right. Because it is not the same, you know, everywhere we go. No, right. I, I contend that the, the vast majority of our teachers have never been in an environment uh, like uh, the ones that our children mm -hmm. come out that, of. That is true. And, and so if you don't have an understanding mm -hmm. of where that child came from mm -hmm. and what the history mm -hmm. of that child That's is, true. you might very well uh, miss the opportunity mm -hmm. to positively affect the child mm -hmm. right. that, that you would otherwise mm -hmm. be able to help this child to mm -hmm. grow by leaps and bounds, mm -hmm. you could shut that child down That's as far true. as learning is concerned mm -hmm. just by your comments mm -hmm. uh, uh, and insensitivity that is, that of where that child came that from. That is very true. That is very true. But I, we, well, now we are getting a lot of folks going to come into our school and volunteer. In fact, people, the folks from Sun City now are offering to come in to our school and help, you know, and do that. But we, we are... We, we're gonna we're gonna move forward. You know, we cannot let distractors slow us down. You know, you, you know it, it is so good to um, to to hear you say that because in, in so many cases, uh, people like uh, whether it's two board members mm -hmm. who are constantly stirring strife mm -hmm. and everything, right. or whether it is. Uh, you know, three or four mm -hmm. people out of the community mm -hmm. who come and act as if they speak for everybody right. in the community. They don't. And, and, they, and you're right, mm -hmm. and they don't. Sometimes that can be disheartening, mm -hmm. and sometimes it can cause people to basically want to give up. Mm -hmm. What would you say to that? I would say to, even if you're not a board member, um, visit our schools and see what is going on in the school system um, because the, the, the media does not print what we do anything that is negative the media will print that you know but we are doing a lot of good good works and we are our students are performing well you know we are not where we should be but we are not where we were you know years ago you know because I can remember when I first got on the board, um, we had uh, Hilton Head High, Buford High, and Barry Creek High. Those were the only three high schools we had at that time. And I would say probably less than 25% of black male were graduating and going to college. Wow. You know, so we have come a long ways. And, and you know, people listen to negative stuff more than they listen to positive, you know. And that's the message that we have to get out as a board, and we are starting to do that now. You know, so we are we are taping all of our meetings, we are taping our committee meetings. You know, and I would say that don't always listen to distractors. 
people with negative thoughts um, are not going to, they, they think they're going to change the world, but they won't. You know, I was watching TV several months ago, and I was look, this minister came on, and he said, people that always come up with negative stuff, he said, they have a, they have a bad, a negative life. He said, they're negative, and they want to make sure that they keep you negative, you know. And and, and, and I, w I would agree, and I don't know who made that statement, but it is a yes. true, by and large, yes, it is a very mm -hmm. true statement that 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 miserable people right. have a tendency to make other people miserable. There, there you go. Uh, because their behavior is reflective mm -hmm. of their situation and circumstances right. for the most part. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, and I think it is something that we all need to uh, to keep in mind. Mm -hmm. I often say uh, to people, and I tell my wife, I says, you know, I just don't have time for negative no, people. No, you don't. I, you don't. I, I do not, mm -hmm. because there are just so many mm -hmm. positive things to be done. That's right. There are so many positive people mm -hmm. to be engaged. That's right. And there are so many uh, 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 positive circumstances that we can influence mm, right. so why should i give my time to someone mm. who insists on being negative That's right. B because some people uh regardless to what you say mm. and you can show them mm. plainly that you know, your statement mm -hmm. is not correct, mm -hmm. and this is not right. They still will maintain the position that they maintain because they want whatever they think mm -hmm. to be true. Well, they're witch hunting. That's what. That's exactly what they're doing. See, see if they can find something wrong. You know, um, and they, and they will not stop. They will keep going on and on and on. You know. So, but like I said. I don't have time to waste for negative stuff. And like you said, you have to move on, you know. I guess when you put it that way, when you say they are witch hunting, I, I never thought of it that way. That's right. That they are people who are just looking for something to be wrong. And, and if it does not exist, then they'll invent something. That's right. You know, uh, we have people question how we pay uh, our bills at the school district. Well, we we have a, a what they call a P card. It's a, it's a car, a credit card, and and um, this is because we don't write a check for each item to a, a, a Bank of America. They they criticize that. Well, you, that's not the way you do it. You don't, you know if if you you gonna you, you buy some paper from Staples, you're not gonna send them say fifteen or twenty dollars, you know. At the end of the month, when, when there's the payment is due, you you present the credit card, and then you pay the, all all the bills that you owe, and, and and by doing that, we 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 make a rebate. We get rebates. I think our last rebate was three hundred and some thousand dollars. <laughs> See, that 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 the the district has. Uh, a very very good financial yeah. rating yes, and are. financial yeah, status is for true. for doing finances yeah. is right. that right that's right I, it it has boggled my mind some of the statements that I hear mm -hmm. uh, some board members and then some members mm -hmm. come before the board and complain about well you ought not to do it this way and you ought to do it that mm -hmm. way and i'm thinking wait a minute why do you hire a superintendent mm -hmm. he is in effect the ceo that, right. of the school district mm -hmm. so how do you hire a person to perform a task mm -hmm. because the board is to ensure that you accomplish mm -hmm. these tasks that's true so how do you then get down and start telling him the A, B, and mm -hmm. C right. of the details mm -hmm. of how to achieve it? That is not doing done anywhere else in America no. that I know of. Mm -mm. 
And I mean, you know, if, if we were, were doing something wrong, somebody would have found out a long time ago. We have an audit every year, you know. So it, it doesn't make sense for someone to come and say, you're doing it wrong, you know. Unless you are a witch hunting, I <laughs> they, guess. That, that's, that's what it is. They're looking for something. See what they can find. And they'll dig and dig and dig, you know. And, and all they're doing is wasting time, tying up people in, in, in the district office to, to get this. I want this. You give me this and you give me that. Um, it's just like they're saying we, we don't do our procurement code right. And that is not, if you don't go by that procurement code, the state will definitely let you know. Yes, yes, indeed. Know? But that's, that's just the, the way they think. Yeah. So if you <laughs> if you had any direction for the community, what can we as a community, what can we and should we do? I would I would say this. If you have questions about anything in the community, in, in the school system, in the district, call the superintendent or call a board member and, and, and say, listen, I have a concern about this. I, I want to know about this. They will invite you to come down and sit down and talk with you, you know. Um, but w when, you, when you make uh, uh, comments that is not true, sure, they're gonna get a little, little angry and upset with you, but you're a taxpayer, and we will listen to you, you know. But, but don't keep going back and forth, back and forth, and, and, and keep going to stuff in the past. The past is gone. You cannot change what had happened in the past, you know. So I, I, I just hope that, well, I, not a hope. I, I know that the, the majority of the community support, support us, you know. And, and any time they have a question, they will call. I've had people call me from Bluffton, Hilton Head, Buford, St. Helena, everywhere, you know. And I, and I will answer their question. But um, negative people, I don't have time for, you know. I will listen to what you have to say. And say I hear you and I understand what your frustration are, but I have to move on. You know, I can't let you bog me down in, in, in negativity all the time. You know, that don't it, it doesn't help, and it doesn't help the students. You know, so that's where I where I stand. And and I I was going to say this, I I will encourage parents to make sure that they stay on their children, make sure that they do their homework. Make sure they turn in any reports that they have. And if you have a problem, go to the school and talk to the principal and the teacher. But don't go there with an attitude that you're going to beat the teacher and the, and, the, and the principal, you know. And if you have a concern, call the board members. I have found that the uh, school district and the school board has really been responsive to right. any request mm -hmm. uh, that, that I've mm -hmm. ever made or That's concern right. that we've ever had. Mm -hmm. And the, 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 the schools have just been wonderful right. in responding. Mm -hmm. And so uh, our job, whether we are parents or mm -hmm. whether we are uh, members mm -hmm. in the community mm -hmm. or whether we are in the system, mm -hmm. all of our job is to model right behavior right. To the student mm -hmm. and so uh, if, if uh, I can't uh, tell them how to behave correctly mm -hmm. if I'm acting right. out of a term right. and, and mm -hmm. saying things that are, are not mm -hmm. uh, uh, reflective of being respectful in all mm -hmm. those things and That's so right. uh, I, we thank you for that well I thank you and I thank you for your support and I uh, I know that you will keep on supporting the school district. You know? And I would say to all folks, come out to the school, come to the, our board meetings, you know, and, and find out what is going on in the band. Well, we thank you so much. We have had today uh, Mr. Earl Campbell, who is a formal chairman of the school board and has ser served almost 26 years on the school board. It has been our pleasure to have you, sir, and for you to give us some information and knowledge on the operation of the school district and the school board. We thank you. No, thank you, sir. Bless you. Okay. Thank you for joining us for Community Corner on 94.5 Praise. 
And don't forget to join us every Thursday at 7 o'clock for the latest in community programs and highlights. If you want more information on today's topic or guests, you can find it on our website at praise945.com. May the peace and blessings of the Lord be yours.